possible. Being a Scotsman and being a Highlander, what have you found that has been a strength about your upbringing and the country you're from? What have you taken with you from Scotland? Um, I suppose you have to, like anywhere else, you have to just be yourself. You know? mm. Don't, don't compromise anything, don't change where you are. And you, a lot of people do change the way they are when they come here to sort of fit in. Um, the whole thing is very celebrity conscious. I was talk, joking to my friend the other day, talking about the aristocracy in Britain. He was winding me up saying there's no aristocracy here. So, well, you kind of get one aristocracy here because it's a celebrity. You know? so there is a sort of hierarchy and everyone's continuing to try to strive and you know, being false. To, to get somewhere. So you have to just be yourself, I think, because eventually people recognise that. Or well, the people in power here, the people who've got on here recognise that. There is this whole mishmash of people who are continually trying to be slightly wannabes, but you just have to sort of strive to be yourself, you know, and maintain that, rather than being too Hollywood, you know, to try and fit in, you know. Because our strength is that my strength, your strength is from Scotland, and that's what brought me here. Yeah. So you have to, you have to put a play on it, yeah. Yeah. without getting too cheesy. Yeah, well, <laughs> no, we're in a guilt today, but yeah. <laughs> you know, things I do, you know. <laughs> Just to go off because we were filming, you know. But <laughs> <laughs> and a bit hot. Full <laughs> <laughs> number ones. <laughs> the Green Guard, you got the sweat lashing down. Oh. Oh. So, <laughs> no, you, you, you do have to milk it a wee bit, which you don't mind doing that mm. without. Sort of, um, what you say? It was like the Madonna tour. She wanted to use the Scottish aspect of the pipes and pipes and it. She didn't want to compromise on it. She wanted it to be genuine. Yeah. You know, which was good. It was lucky for me. So it wasn't jokey or kitsch or brigadoon, you know. <laughs> and I know we, we spoke earlier, and that was quite an important thing for you as well, isn't it? That yes, it's right. It didn't actually, um, I suppose, take down the culture. No, that's right. Uh -huh. she, she wanted to. Parody. Yeah, that's right. She, that's right. She was. It was almost like a tribute to the culture she was doing. So we were. Like, she kept it genuine. She wanted to know about the costumes and the instrument, how it worked, and everything had to be genuine. Um, so that was lucky in that respect. Yeah. So we're still trying to do the same here. Uh -huh. So and what about being over in California? What's the differences? What do you think they do differently over here, or the strengths of the culture, especially mm -hmm. in California, which mm -hmm. I think. Yes, yes, that's right. Uh -huh. What's been your experience? Um, well, you're right, there's a huge energy because there's so many people coming here continually trying to make it, particularly in the entertainment industry. Um, and like America in general, you can you probably can make it, touch wood, <laughs> you probably can make it <coughs> easier than in Britain. Or once there's a lot more opportunity to make it, you know, to make it a lot more money than perhaps you would in Britain. Um, although the thing is, there's so many people coming to yeah. do that. But if you have something that works or a niche, um, I don't know, it's the American dream. But I think I think it's easier to do here. There seem to be less constraints of people do here. Um, what do you find the difference? Uh, you know, I know we joke about when we go back to the highlands and in the highlands, uh, almost don't be don't be above your station. How you know, quickly you're <laughs> cut down! You're quickly like, you're cut no, down. I didn't like to say it. <laughs> you know, um, what's it like over here for that um, celebration? Is it? Yes, right, right. That's probably the hardest thing for us. Um, you have to be very uh, forthright on it. Just, um, you have to be always continually pushing, you know, pushing yourself and promoting yourself, which is hard for us to do because uh, as a, a race, particularly as Highlanders, we don't want to do that, <laughs> do we? Well, I remember, I remember. I think it was the first time we met. It was in the, the restaurant in Venice, uh -huh, in Venice, yes. and, and you was at me, telling me, Donald. You just have to say what you're good at here. You, know, you can't be subtle at all. Yes. Subtlety doesn't work. You that's have right. to. Yeah, have. And it is. You know, it's uh, it's not how we're brought up. No, that's it? right. No. What was it? we joked about? Somebody said, "Oh, you are scored the winning goal in the World Cup ten years ago." I didn't like to say. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like. I didn't like. And it's so true. Ah, no. You're right. Yeah. You have to. Um, you have to continually promote yourself and say, "Just go against the grain a bit." They like to, they like people who know people, so you're kind of name dropping, but, and that becomes eventually you, you, you learn how to do it, but it's, it doesn't come naturally. Oh, certainly, certainly, you you can get off much with it in in Campbelltown <laughs> and right. Brora anyway. That's what you. 